Netflix, here's an idea for a new feature, a skip intro button. I know, I know, it's, I also think it's weird that they haven't hired me yet. Welcome to Binge Watchers, where we talk about the stories and characters we love and the shows they live in. My name is Ron, and let's talk about Season 3 of Orange is the New Black. So if you haven't yet, you can check out my review for Seasons 1 and 2 of Orange is the New Black, right here, somewhere, in, in the cards thing. Season 3 dropped yesterday, and as we do, I binge-watched it all, and now I'm here to talk about it. So as you might know, I loved Season 1, it was a good time, it was fun, it was moving, it was all done very well. It was mostly about Piper, she was the main character, the show was telling us her story. By season 2 it wasn't just her story anymore, it was the stories of the women of Litchfield Prison. I personally didn't care much for season 2, not because of the new style of storytelling, but just because it was too much all over the place and not as good or interesting as the first season. Season 3 once again doesn't really have a main character. Piper, while being in the front of all the posters, is just another story happening in the prison. I don't even think she gets more screen time than the rest, maybe just a bit. The season moves at a really good pace. There wasn't a single episode that I thought was boring. There's a really good balance between the meaningful, emotional parts of the story and the fun parts of the story, of which there are plenty. This season is a lot of fun. It's a lot tighter than season two, it's just put together better. Now there are all kinds of shows and all kinds of stories. There are stories that take us from point A to point B and tell us what was the journey between these two points. Season 3 of Orange is New Black, much like season 2, is not like that at all. There isn't a plot, so to say, that unfolds or a story that advances. It's much more like real life. Here are just things that are happening. Here are all these separate stories that might have nothing to do with one another, but sometimes cross paths, but they all grow on their own. Some of them get resolutions, some don't, and that's it. So while I did enjoy the show and the stories and the way they deal with issues of religion and faith, privatization of prisons, gender and racial equality, and all the fun that they managed to squeeze in between, as an overall thing, it kind of feels like going in a circle. The point where the season ends isn't very far from the point it started. I mean, more of the same isn't necessarily a bad thing, but for parts of the season it feels like that's just what it is. A collection of the things that made Orange is the New Black a good time, just without any specific focus. It's difficult to see that as a problem because it's pretty much the same with any show that doesn't have one main character and one main story. It has multiple characters and multiple stories that, again, might not have anything to do with one another, but are all equally important. I do feel I can say this, if you've enjoyed Orange is the New Black so far, you will have a good time with season three. You might finish the season with a kind of that's it feeling, but you'll have fun with the stories and the characters. Something that I did like about season two that is done even way better in season three is telling us more about the backstories of the women in the prison. And not just how they got into prison, but about the events that shaped their lives. And it really goes a long way in terms of connecting you to the characters, because the way they all behave is very true to the things they showed us from their past. Another thing is that this time around the show really explores a lot of the crew's background as well. The prison guards, the consultants, their boss Caputo, and that was also all a good time. Really the main point I'm trying to get across is that this is all this season is about. Getting to know the characters even further, and the stuff that happens in the prison. If this was season 2, this would probably be a 5 star review. Because season 1 you introduced the prison and the inmates and the crew through the eyes of Piper as the main character. Season 2 you get to know everyone better. Season 3 we're ready for a bigger story, which really doesn't happen here. Another point is the finale. It's an hour and a half long, it's basically a movie, and it really has no reason to be. The individual stories in the show all move in a very good pace. It's not like The Walking Dead where almost nothing happens up until the last two episodes and then they have to rush everything. Here they actually leave a lot of unanswered questions. Some of the major parts never get resolved at all. Which I thought was disappointing because if you're gonna go with a cliffhanger, let alone like three of them, 
you need to have a good reason for it. A better reason than just setting us up for the next season. Bottom line, should you watch it? Season 3 of Orange is New Black is a collection of stories that are all interesting, fun, emotional, well performed and give us a lot of insight to the background of the character. There's no major story that advances from episode to episode and the show kind of leaves you hanging when it ends. If you've watched the previous two seasons, you're probably invested enough to watch season three anyway, just know what's the style that they went with here. Basically know what to expect. I would also recommend watching it kind of casually, unless you're a, a really huge fan of the show. When Personally, when I binge watch a show, I prefer it to be a show that kind of takes you all in. So have you watched or are you watching season three of Orange is the New Black? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below and we'll get the discussion going and then we'll do a comment discussion video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're finding binge watchers for the first time, welcome. I'd like to invite you to join this wonderful binge watching community. We're talking about TV every Monday, Wednesday and Friday with opinions and reviews news, all kind of great stuff, all for you fellow binge watchers and TV lovers. So you can go ahead and click that big subscribe button to join in on the fun, or you can check out any of the other videos on the channel. In any case, keep binging, and I will see you next time.